framing our cattle panel pallet structure to hold a winter snow load. It started off going really well, and then Mother Nature had other plans. A few months back, we put up this structure in which I am standing. It's made out of pallets, cattle panels, some tarp and t posts very simple structure went up pretty easily and we were going to use it as a milking parlor for the dexter family milk cow we were going to get however we didn't get the milk cow since we didn't get the milk cow i wasn't in a big hurry to get this thing framed out to hold a winter snow load i knew i need to do it eventually but it wasn't a super high priority at the time with winter approaching now i need to get my winter hay supply and I needed a place to store it. So I thought putting all the hay in here would be a good use for this building since we're no longer be using it for a milking parlor. And with that, I needed to start the framing project. I ordered some rough cut lumber from the guy who was working on our carport. He's friends with a guy that has a little mill on his property. So he milled us the lumber, we got a really good deal on it. I just got it a few days ago. So I started the project excitedly. Here is what day one of the framing looked like. slightly off to the side. It must not be quite perpendicular down here. But the sun is dropping down quickly behind the mountains, so it is time for evening chores and dinner. So I'm gonna have to straighten that out tomorrow and keep on rocking. So that was all great. We were off to a really good start. Yeah, I was really excited about day two, and I really needed to finish it on day two because the next day after that, the hay was being delivered, and it would be really hard to do all the framing work in here if it is stacked full of hay. So then day two happened. Day two of framing the structure is not going well. We're having a really epic windstorm and the interior Framing piece I put up. Uh, I wasn't using good enough strong ties. They actually snap. The whole thing has come down. It's not going well. If I had gotten lumber and all the materials I needed just one day sooner, 
we could have had this thing up fully framed before the windstorm and I really think it would have held once it's fully framed. I'm in a bit of a pickle now because it's too dangerous to be working inside of that thing. If I had been in there when it collapsed like that just a few minutes ago, it would have taken a little bit of a wallop to the head, so it's a little too dangerous to be in there right now. It's supposed to be windy like this the rest of the day. Day two wasn't very fun. It turned out to be quite disastrous for my framing project. The only reason why these cattle panels aren't completely collapsed in right now is because I have a 4x4 propping it up and a 2x4 propping it up right over here. And just a note, if this looks a little bit bigger than a regular 2x4, it's because it's rough cut lumber. It's not dimensional lumber, so it's an actual 2x4 as opposed to 1.5x3.5. But without these beams supporting it, it would be completely folded in. And it became so dangerous to work in here on day two with the wind blowing. This entire ceiling structure was coming down. It was to the point where I had to come crawling through here to get the uh, power tools I left behind so I didn't get whacked in the head by the cattle panels. When I first built the structure, I got a lot of criticism about the design. And just to note, this was not my design. I there are a bunch of other people on YouTube and in the blogosphere that have built this design. But the, the reoccurring theme with the criticism was that this structure would lift up and blow away in a windstorm. And I was really confident it, it wasn't going to do that because all the T-posts are pounded into the ground and then the cattle panels are clipped with fencing clips to the T-posts and I also use fencing staples to uh, connect the cattle panels to the pallets as well. And I was right, it didn't take off like a kite like a lot of people suggested it would. However, the cattle panel did collapse, so. What you doing, little buddy? Coming out to see what's going on. Oh, what's going on? Mm, I don't know. A lot, of you, a lot of the stuff flew everywhere. You have your beach toys over there that blew in the storm a couple days ago, huh? Yes, but I wonder how that broke itself. The wind blew it in. How did it blew it in? Really strong winds. What happened to the hay that was supposed to come? Well, given the circumstances where I didn't have a place to store it, and we had to receive it when we did because it's supposed to be raining for like the next week plus every day. So there was this one little window when we could get it the hay in without it raining. So I decided to put it in our newly, mostly enclosed carport. And now little buddy has a stack of hay on which to climb. Right buddy? Why, right, I'm the key of the hay stack. Yes you are. And I'm sitting my, on my throne. You're sitting on your throne? We're actually planning on parking in here over the winter. We're gonna have to figure out another situation for that. But the hay was a super high priority, so we had to get it in somewhere. So it is now safe and secure under the roof. And now with the sides that we have up mostly going around, it's gonna keep most of the weather out. This hay behind me is about three tons, and we are getting another three tons when the weather clears up, probably in a couple weeks. And we're actually gonna be able to squeeze it in right in front of here because I'm going to be using hay for the next couple weeks before it comes so there will be a little bit more room than what's in here now plus that only takes up about half the real estate on this side of the carport and just like we're renaming the milking parlor we probably need to rename this structure it's certainly turning more into a barn now than it is a carport I believe the future of what was the milking parlor and then what was going to be the hay shed for the winter. I think we're going to use it to provide housing for some of the livestock. This may be the winter sheep shelter once I get it framed out. And yes, I'm still going to be framing it this out. And we'll be taking you guys along with us on the project as we get this thing complete.